do subscribe to MJ Tube and hit on bell icon for latest videos. Hello guys, welcome back again. I'm MJ. In this video, I'll show you how to fix black screen while using a remote desktop connection. I'll show you four steps. Hope one of them will work with you. So watch this video very carefully. So first thing is just open your remote desktop connection like this. And after this, here click on show options. Okay. So first thing is go to display. And here change the display scale like this. So change one by one. Just keep it this one and then try to connect. If this work, then let it to default like this resolution. If this not work, then again change the resolution. So change the resolution one by one until you not get the display. So change one by one by one and try to connect. Hopefully this will fix problem. If not work, if this not work, then go to experience tab and here uncheck this off persistent bitmap caching. Just uncheck this option and try to connect it. So this is the first option. After this, try to connect your desktop connection. If not work, then the second option is right click on your this PC, go to manage, click on device manager. And here extend the display adapter so it will show your available graphic display like if you have nvidia or random or intel so whatever display you have just right click on here and click on update driver and choose the search automatically for update driver so click on it it will auto download and install the suitable driver for your graphics so this is the second method okay if it's not work then the third option is go to start and here type services open the services and here search for remote desktop services open it and take it automatic then start as you can see here right now the service is stop then stop it start it apply and okay so service reset must be running okay and click on apply and okay that's it now open the remote desktop services user mode click on it and click on automatic do the same start apply and okay and go to remote desktop configuration do the same automatic start apply and okay so do this and after this restart your pc and try to connect your remote desktop so hopefully one of them will work with you so let me know in comments which option or which method is work with you so thank you for watching guys catch you next video uh, please like share and subscribe thank you very much